Hey guys, it's Dana, and today I'm sharing Tortoni Cups, a recipe from my Nona's coveted recipe book. It's one of our favorite holiday desserts. This is a mousse-like consistency referred to as a semi-fredo, not as hard like ice cream, and it's flavor loaded with almond and vanilla. Two cups of heavy whipping cream. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I just went a little bit heavier because I like that vanilla flavor in this tortoni. We also need almond flavor or almond extra. A generous half cup of confectioner's sugar, meaning that I added a little bit extra. Hey, I'm Italian, that's what I do. Go ahead and mix this up until we get this um, with a little bit of peaks, I'll show you. soft peaks in here, so when I pull this away, it should make a soft peak. All right, so this is the consistency we're going for. And in we go with the two eggs and the cream of tartar. Those are perfect. Okay, and for the topping, we're going to go ahead and roast about a quarter cup pan roast right on the stove. So you'll heat the pan up, put them in, toss them around, let them lightly brown, not too much. We don't want the burn taste. And then we'll put them on top. Okay, these look perfect. Some of them are a little brown. Great, and these smell so good. Last part of this, removing the egg whites into the heavy whipped cream. You can see how stiff these really are, which is perfect for what we're doing. I will put this on slow, gradually bring up the speed. I hadn't prepared these little um, cupcake liners inside of my cupcake pan. So this is probably two to three tablespoons. And when I put it in, I'm actually being kind of assertive with it. I'm directing where it should go because I want that tucked down into there so that when it freezes, it's nice and solid and it fills all of those little crinkles up in the cup, right? It's not going to expand. So you actually have to do the expanding for it. Now, like in any good old Italian household, we know that this one looks a little cheap and more is always better. Isn't that what goes with being Italian? So we're gonna glop that on there. Yes, glop right across the top. And then I'm going to follow that through with a little bit of my um, already crumbs and trying my best not to touch the spoon on that. It's okay if it spills over. And then those fresh, freshly pan roasted nuts. Make sure everybody gets stuck in there a little bit and we'll leave that one go and move on to the next one. So that is what you ideally want it to look like. This is a little bit too little, especially in an Italian household. You'd be called cheap for that. I'm gonna show you the way my Nona did it. And this will pack this in there, what I was just talking about. See this, we're going to bring it just like a cupcake and we'll be plenty generous with it. And look at that, it's so much faster and efficient, but I wanna give you all of the options. So that doesn't look great. Nobody wants that in your Italian house. This is perfect, but I had to use a spoon. It took two spoons, it makes quite a mess. This is all set to go. And all you have to do is bring this to the bottom, fill up a plastic bag and fill it like that. It's gorgeous and it's gonna look so pretty when we finish it with those cherries. And again, these are optional. I like them. And then we'll put a finishing piece on these and throw them in the freezer. If you have any sides that are open, just stick them in the side. You know, that makes up the difference for any volume you don't have so that you don't hear anybody saying they don't have as much as the other person because it happens and it's so good, you'll understand why once you eat this. I, mean, I love finding extras along the side. And then I just had my husband finish chopping up my maraschino cherries. So we're going to put these on each of them. 
These are again, another optional piece, but oh, and here's for the little one that got cheaped out of everything for an example. And just push them on in. Everything's going to freeze up really nice. This is so soft and velvety whenever you eat it later. And it's just got a delicious almond and vanilla flavor. Who did I forget? Right here. Okay, and that is how you make tortoni. It's a really simple recipe as you saw where your time investment is going to come in is going to be with the freezing time because these have got to set for at least four hours um, and they have to be wrapped. Now, luckily my container, I can just pop a lid on. So you definitely wanna use one of those containers that you can do such with. All right.